that we, we all read what people had said to you after this decision came down. Has it calmed down in Ohio? Uh, has things like settled down for you a little bit? Yeah, you know how social media is. One month it's all crazy, the next month no one even knows who you are. So I'm back to my quiet self on social media. It's pretty nice. So. What kind of an impact can you make on this defensive line? I know everybody made a comment about where OU was at last year. What can you do to help this defense this year? I think just help get sacks, help help show, give a little experience. You know, the defense doesn't have the most experience. And I think I can help there in the locker room and just be a, a positive impact on the players. I want to win. And so I can just share that with them. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you. Where are you at health-wise right now? Uh, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm doing everything pretty much. Uh, just got to get a little, couple things figured out in PT, just a couple little things to shine up the, the rough edges, but I'm pretty much 100%. What was that injury that you had? Uh, I uh, fractured my patella. So it's just a little fracture, just had to let the bone heal. That's where I'm at. Um. You obviously, you know, have, have had your recoveries in the past. When, when, some, when you have an injury, are you like, okay, let's go through this again? What is, what is that like for you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it sucks. I mean, it's just mentally draining, but at the same time, I, I know how important this sport is to me and how important it is to get to the next level and play the game I love. So, I mean, it's more motivating than anything, just getting out there and proving people wrong, proving myself wrong every time. So. Um, you mentioned, you know, taking on a leadership role, being in a different role here. Is, is that something that you were craving that maybe you didn't have? What what what, what went into that? Uh, I just, I mean, I'm a introvert at heart. I'm just a quiet guy. So at OSU, I really never even wanted to step in that role. I, mean, I had Brock Martin in front of me who pretty much took, took control, and I, I followed him. And, now that I'm here, it's just more of like a mental growth for me. I just want to be a guy that can help lead people and just be a captain or a leader for the team. So that's just my goal. Was the process of leaving and then coming here, choosing here, was that emotionally difficult? Oh, because for sure. Build yeah. up, you know, dislike for or whatever for yeah. the rivals kind of thing. Yeah. No, it was it was it was tough. I'm not gonna lie. Coming here, I had a lot of doubts. Uh, I trusted the process. I know what's best for my career, and I met the people here, and my, my mindset changed about Oklahoma and how I felt about them. I mean, at the end of the day, it was kind of just business for me, and I'm happy I'm here. So, what were kind of dig deeper in on those initial doubts? What were some of your feelings you know, as you entered the transfer? What were some of the doubts, and how did this coaching staff help assure that? I mean, it was more like just emotional doubts. Just how would my OSU teammates feel about it? How would my relationships be impacted from like the people I know in Stillwater? You know. You grow close to a lot of your teammates over four years, so it was more about just how they would feel and how like the community would feel overall. That was my biggest doubt, and I kind of just decided it was fine and went with it. So. And, and did you satisfy those doubts? I think I did. I think I think I, some some relationships probably were kind of burnt from my decision, but at the end of the day, we all have to do what's best for ourselves ultimately. So and I feel like this is the best. Brent kind of talked about not seeing it as a move from a rival rather than a fit. Oh, I'm mean, here. How did he explain that to you, Vitality? It really was. Was, it, was that part of his pitch? And an overall story. How did he reach out to you? Already? What was the initial conversation once you entered the game? What other stuff? I mean, he just basically told me he just saw me fitting in with the team, being a being a tr an impact, and he wanted me to get on campus and play for him. I mean, it was it was kind of simple, and I just I saw the fit that he explained, just on the field, what I could do, the competition level, and how I need to compete to earn a spot. And, I, I thrive off competition. I thrive off of knowing that I don't have a place on the field. And so I just trust him, and I'm, I'm here. And that's just kind of what it is. Yes. I just have follow-up just, just kind of talking about the transfer portal on the whole. When you entered the transfer portal, what was the decision making from wanting to transfer from OSU? And once you entered, how many phone calls did you get? <clears throat> Who was communicating with you? And kind of walk me through that process. Uh, I mean, there was no, like, I didn't have a problem with OSU. I, it was all love. I just, sometimes you just got to move on. And I had so many injuries, and it was mentally a, like a thing for me when I came into the stadium. I just think about getting hurt and just yeah, getting injured. It was scary. It just was taking a toll on me, and I decided I needed a refresh, a restart. So that was my reason for leaving. For sure. yeah. I'm getting ready to talk to Chip, uh, Champ Sanders over here. Uh, just wondering if you've had a chance. There's 14 freshmen. Uh, in here this semester, mm -hmm. that chance as a new guy to maybe gravitate to any of those young guys. Uh, I like their work ethic. Or yeah, they're all they're all really hard workers. I mean, they all they all want to be 
playing as a true freshman, I can tell they're all hungry, you know, and when you do come in as a freshman, that's usually how you are, you're really, really hungry, and you can tell from these guys, from Peyton Bowen, who's a dog already, uh, Jackson Arnold, who's throwing that ball like an NFL player, like, you got PJ out there, it's, it's, it's fun to see, I mean, these guys are really excited, I'm happy to see it. So, so kind of walking back and forth, you said you broke your patella right? Yeah. When did that injury occur, and what was the process of recovering from that? And I know you said you're kind of still shining the edges. Where do you see yourself at in the process of rehab? Uh, just more just strength, just getting stronger and recovering from that. I mean, I'm pretty good. It was against Kansas, I think mid-October. I just made a cut. It, it, it was stressed already and gave out. But just one of those things where it's a bone, it heals, and so I'm just letting it heal. That's all I can do, we're just let the muscles around it get stronger. Is there any other small injuries that you're dealing with in your time? Or just no, I'm pretty good, yeah. Did you know when you hurt your knee, did you know, man, I might just end up a transfer portal? Did that enter your mind? Um, I mean, yeah, I, just, I knew my, my season was over at OSU. And, I was just like, well, what now? But I mean, I didn't really think about it until like the day before, two days before, when I decided to do that. I wasn't really considering it until after the season. What was your initial reaction from pushback from 